Charterman, 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 It's like War Machine sniffing Vision's butt. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Kotobukiya statue review on the Batman Rebirth Artifacts Plus statue. I gotta give a big thanks to Kotobukiya for sponsoring this YouTube channel and sending out this product to review for you guys. If you want to see the latest from Kotobukiya, be sure to check the links in the description below. And I really like this big window box that we see right here. We get that extra window circle right there around Batman's face. I think that's great. And then you can see Gotham right over here in the background. Nice image Images of Batman and Superman, or is this Metropolis? Does this match the Superman rebirth? It, it, it could be Metropolis. I think it's Gotham though. And then you can see the skyline right over there. And then you can see more Batman right there. And then you get a big old window at the top, and not much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the Batman statue out of the packaging, and this thing is magnificent. I really like that pose a lot. I'm very pleased with this cape. I really feel like Kotobuki has been taking their artifact. Plus line to another level and they did not spare the Batman over here. This thing looks great. Now he does come with one accessory so I want to get a closer look at that and then we'll get a closer look at the Batman. So this Batman statue comes with his own pillow. Yeah, this is actually just a little foam piece that goes between the body of the statue and the cape. You know, it's a little protection thingy. Okay, but his actual accessory is this battering and that looks awesome. I really like the gunmetal color that we're seeing on this. You know, nicely sculpted. Not the craziest battering ever, but a really good looking battering nonetheless. I like that. I like how we have the edges right here. And then you can go ahead and have Batman hold this with his right hand. So you can see he has that gesture for holding the battering. And just go ahead and slip that between thumb and index finger. And he holds it very well like so. I like that. So here's looking at the head sculpt. And I really like the attention to detail that we're seeing right here. I really like how the cleft chin came out. The mouth looks really good. We get some good flesh tone color variation in there. Great sculpted work from Kotobukiya on this. I really like how the brow came out. Nice looking eyes right there through the mask. It's got the little ears right here. And I believe this artwork is inspired from David Finch. I could be wrong about that. Let me know in the comments below if you know for sure. But this does, I think, have a little bit of a, a hint of the David Finch artwork in here. But I could be wrong. But anyway, you can see how the cowl wraps right over here across the top of the figure or the top of the chest anyway. Nice wrinkles throughout. Really, really digging that. And looking at these big old beefy arms. I really love the paint apps that we're seeing right here. Great shading. Nice little tension of detail right here with the sculpted lines right there. And getting that musculature in the forearms. Gauntlets look really good. Yeah, nice big old gloves right there. I like how the bat logo came out right here. It's actually, you can feel it's sculpted on there. Very, very thin sculpt. I like that. Nice clean yellow with the black. Looks really good. Love seeing this fade right there. It looks awesome to me. Belt looks great as well. Nice shiny gold. And then, yeah, there's the hand holding the battering one more time. Legs look great. Nice big old fat bat muscles. Then, here's looking at the boots. Looking pretty good. There's some parts of this that actually kind of remind me of Jim Lee a little bit, too, I gotta say. I really like this fade that we're seeing on the black right there. That looks awesome. And of course, we also get the magnetized base pretty standard issue with the Artifacts Plus statues. And again, it's all filthy at the bottom of the filthy. Bringing the statue back in here, looking at this cape, man. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. I really dig that a lot. You know, I love that they have purple on the inside of this and a little homage to Batman's first appearance. And then that blue over black. I love how that came out. That is so well done. I can't imagine what it's like to sculpt one of these right here. I've dabbled in some sculpting before in the past and it's just, uh, it's really hard to do. And something as complex as this just really impresses me. Wow. Yeah, man. I really like this cape a lot. Took a lot of photos of the cape. So yeah, stick around to the end of the video. A lot of photos to show off. Man, that is cool. And you even get black fading on the inside of the cape too. That is just great. Very pleased with that. And there's the magnets. I didn't show that off earlier. You can see some treads at the bottom of the feet as well. Now to measure out this Batman statue, you can see that he's standing just 
under eight inches tall. I guess trying to not include the base over here. It looks a little closer to seven and a half inches tall. Then for your Kota Wakia Artifacts Plus Rebirth comparison, you have the Batman next to the Superman right here, and they both look awesome, especially side by side. I really like how their capes are wafting off into the wind in the same direction. I think that is great. Both incredible looking pieces. And then here's the Rebirth Batman statue next to the Rebirth Damian Wayne statue along with Bat Hound. I think these scale together very well. And then here's our Rebirth Batman statue next Next to the Kotobokia Artifacts Plus New 52 Batman, I believe this is the New 52 Batman, could be wrong, but yeah, I do think this has a much better pose than the previous Artifacts Plus, you know, you can see the changes right here with the Artifacts Plus line, I do like the shininess of this statue though. And then to remove each of these from the base, uh, you can see that he stands just fine, and then this newer one stands just fine as well, he actually sits on three different points, uh, just on the tip of the cape right there, and then his two feet, and yeah, so you don't have to worry about him really tipping over, I mean, if you want to be a little bit more safe, about it, you could put him back on the base, but yeah, he stands fine without it. Then here's the Artifacts Plus Batman statue. Next to your average six inch scale figure, we have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider Man. Ooh, cool looking cape. Ooh, can I touch it? Ooh, ow! Ooh, ow! Ow! Okay, no touching. So I gotta give a big thanks to you guys for watching my video, I really do appreciate it, especially those of you that watch these videos all the way from the beginning to the end, it really does help this YouTube channel quite a bit. Bit, as well as when you guys hit the like button when you like the videos and please leave a comment down below Let me know what you think of the statue. Let me know what you think of the review If you want to subscribe for more short miss prime videos Please go ahead and do so as well as hitting that notification bell to ensure that my videos pop up in your feed because YouTube can be a little flimsy with the subscription box It's not it's not the funnest thing in the world So it does help a bit when you hit that notification bell. And I gotta say as a Batman fan I'm very impressed by this. I really dig this a lot I haven't really been reading the DC Comics rebirth issues especially on Batman Man, but I've been reading on Superman, which is kind of funny because Batman's my favorite DC superhero, but yeah, I really like Tomasi's Superman. But anyway, this is a really good looking piece. I really like how it came out. Again, the cape, man, I really love what they're doing with this, and I really like the pose. Just a great looking piece. I highly recommend it, and I'm going to give this a sud rating of... I love it! And I'd like to know what you think. So once again, please leave a comment in the description below. And I gotta let you guys know that I am having a Patreon exclusive live show going on this afternoon. So please check that out if you're one of the patrons. Link in the description below to that. Should be a good time doing the live show. I'm gonna try to do these exclusive live shows more in the future. And if you want to see a photo gallery of images, you can find it over at toynewseye.com and chargemasprime.net. And do not forget to follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links to everything I talked about in the description below. Ah, okay. Catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, new Short Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.